Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2013. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Well, this month, a whole new world opens up to you, a whole new vision and whole new possibilities. And the reason is, well, multifold, really, and the ways in which this manifests is multifold. We do have a very important solar eclipse taking place in the first part of the month. And for you, this has to do with, on the one hand, it has to do with legal matters. So uh, I've been having an uncanny number of people born under the sign of Virgo uh, contact me about some legal cases and I've been saying to them again and again just look forward look forward to May look forward to May it's going to be a huge month for resolutions in some cases very quick resolutions when it comes to a legal matter that maybe has seemed like it just has been dragging on and the opportunity comes very quickly and very dramatically as well but in the best possible sense of the word it does look like the agreement shows up you're actually happy about it you're happy to be almost like there's a feeling of freedom associated with this. So you're happy to be sort of releasing all the emotion and all the tension and all the hopes and the wishes and the yearning and the wondering. All of that is just released in one moment as this situation finds its resolution for you. Now, for other Virgos out there, this could manifest a little bit differently where it has less to do so much with an institution, um, especially a legal institution, but it has much more to do with you and your process of expanding opportunities that are available to you. So for some of you, this is going to be a really great acceptance letter to a school that maybe you've been trying to get into, and this would be a higher um, a institute of higher learning. For others, this would be an introduction to a new philosophy, a new way of looking at the world. And still for others, this has to do with a clarification of what it is that you really value and seeing your beliefs in a very different light and seeing how maybe some of your beliefs have actually been quite stagnant. All of this falls under one umbrella when we look at it from the perspective of the sky. All of this can seem like, just on the surface, not especially glamorous, but there is an element of this that is actually very welcome. And the element that is welcome has to do with knowing what is now available to you because of what is not anymore or what is no longer an issue for you. So you drop almost instantly, you drop all the yearning and the questions and the wanting and the wondering, you drop it. And it's because life allows you to drop it. The universe supports you dropping it by bringing you a resolution. I would really encourage you, if you can, to embrace the resolution that does show up because in all honesty, it does look like it is a very good opportunity for you to move ahead with your life. And if for some reason it seems like it doesn't want to work out, in all honesty, I, I got to tell you, a little bit further down the road, there will eventually have to be a resolution in this, but it won't be as freeing and there won't be as positive feelings around it as there would be right now. So do take advantage if the opportunity to free yourself of a nagging situation does come along. And also the opportunity to just understand who you are, what you believe very differently, and much more positively as well comes along. For you to have that clarity that who you are now is different, what you need, the beliefs you need to support that difference are there for you. Now towards the end of the month, I find this really intriguing because it does look like one once you have that release in the first part of the month, once you understand what is no more, what is not necessary, once you really let that this whole dynamic sort of go and you see it more clearly and you feel more clearer and lighter about that situation, it's like your focus can shift inwards but it can also focus more on what I like to call the fortress of solitude, right? If you think about Superman, what was his fortress of solitude? It was that place that he went to where no one was around, no one to disturb him. And for some of us, for a lot of us, that has to do with our home. It has to do with the place we go and we close the door and we lock it and that is our own and that is our space. That's also going to be an area that goes through some changes for you, especially later this month. And it looks like you actually like the changes that take place. They feel right. They feel pleasant. They feel fun. They feel sweet. Um, they feel like something you're happy to talk about. And so there are changes 
And in most cases, I mean, in some cases, yes, it may actually be a change of where you live. But for most of you, I think it's going to have more to do with aesthetics. It's going to have more to do with whether it's redecorating or whether it's just liking the environment in which you're in, appreciating the environment in which you are in, making it feel more or feeling that it is more beautiful than you knew it to be before. All of that is highlighted and all of that is important as well. Again, may not be so glamorous having to close the door and being by yourself, but there is something about it that is truly liberating. There is something about it that allows you to just completely be you and to completely understand you. Now that you don't have this situation sort of weighing over you, sort of in the ether, something to think about, once you've dropped that thing that's been there, that you've been thinking about too much, what's left? What's left is you. And what's left is you being with you and being comfortable with you and knowing that you are safe and well for today. With that feeling within you, Anything in the world is possible to you.